Hi there, in this video we are going to learn about navigation in the SimView. To learn about navigation in the SimView, let's create several objects in the scene. In the Shelf tool, in the Create tab, control click on the box, on the sphere, on the tube, and the torus. In the tree view and the network editor, we can see the four containers at the object level. In the scene view, all the four objects are at the center of the scene. Now, in the tree view or the network editor, let's select the torus object 1 and move it using the transformation handles. The same with the tube object 1. And also with the sphere object 1. Ok, now we have something to work with. In Houdini, to navigate in the scene view, you have two options. Using the view tool located in the toolbox on the left side of the scene view, or holding the spacebar or alt key. Then you can use the mouse to change the view. Although the alt key is commonly used in other 3D applications to navigate, in Houdini the spacebar is preferred. In this graphic, we can see the main options to navigate the scene. Let's try them. Hold the space, click on the left mouse button, then drag to tumble or rotate the view in any direction. Hold the space, click on the right mouse button, then drag to dolly in or out. You can also hold the space and scroll your middle mouse button to dolly in or out. Hold space, click on the middle mouse button, then drag to track or pan the view. Hold space and control, click on the left mouse button, then drag to tilt the camera. Hold space and control, click on the right mouse button, then drag to zoom the camera lens. Let's dolly in by using a space and right mouse button. Now, additionally we can use Hold a space and press the H key to center the view to show all objects or geometry. Hold a space and press the Z key to center the view tumbling on the point under the cursor. In this case, the point of view does not change. Let's put the cursor on the tube object. Now, hold a space and press the Z key the tube is centered in the frame without changing the point of view. Now, let's put the cursor on the torus object. Hold the space and press the Z key. The torus is centered in the frame without changing the point of view. Hold the space and press the G key to center the view on all selected objects or geometry. In this case, the point of view can change. At the moment, the sphere object is selected. Hold the space and press the G key. The sphere is now centered in the frame, but the point of view has changed. If you are lost in the scene, hold the space and press the H key. All the objects are framed in the viewport. If you want to frame an object in the viewport, select it by holding S and click on the object. Now hold the space and press the G key. The selected object is now framed in the viewport. If the object is not visible in the viewport, you can select it in the network editor or the tree view. Let's select the torus object 1. Now let's go to the viewport and hold the space and press the G key. The torus is centered in the viewport. Let's hold the space and press the H key to frame all the objects. On the top right of the viewport, we have the viewport option and camera and lights menu. In the Viewport Options menu, in the Set View option, you can set the viewport to any of the listed views, such as Top Front Right UVs Bottom Back left 
and perspective. Now, in the shading option, you can select different shaded modes to represent the objects in the scene. For instance, you can see the objects as wireframe, flat wire shaded, smooth shaded, or a smooth wire shaded. In the camera and lights menu, you can create a new camera. Let's do it. In the tree view and the network editor, you can check it. Now, in the viewport, we are looking through the camera. If you change your view, for instance, hold the space, click the left mouse button and drag, the view is changed. But these changes do not affect the camera. You can select cam1 and you restore the camera view. But if you want to move the camera as you move the view, then first press the lock camera light tool on the right of the scene view. Now, if we move the view, the camera updates its position to match the view changes. Finally, let's review two important options at the top right of the scene view. First, the viewport layout options. In this menu, you can change the layout in the scene view. For instance, four views, two views stacked, two views side by side, and single view. Second, the display geometry mode. In this menu, similar to the shading options in the viewport options menu, you can select different shaded modes to represent the objects in the scene. For instance, you can see the objects as wireframe, flat wire shaded, smooth shaded, or smooth wire shaded. Ok, we have covered the basics of navigation in the scene view. Thank you for watching this video, I'll see you soon in the next one.